Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sneha and today I'm going to be sharing lip swatches of my MAC lip liner collection. I have made a video I believe five years ago or so. So it is quite old and since then I have changed up my collection. I've added some new shades, removed some of the prolonged wear ones because they were getting quite dry. So I thought I would do an updated version and if you guys find these kind of videos helpful, definitely give it a like and also consider subscribing for more videos. Now in terms of the texture of the lip liners, they're quite creamy and do not drag on the lips. So these are meant to be lip liners that can be used either to match your lipstick or you can go for a slightly deeper shade to kind of define your lips. So I predominantly use it to both line and also to fill in my entire lips. Sometimes all I wear is just a lip liner all over. They generally tend to have more wear time than typical lipsticks. So let's get on with the swatches. First we have Stripped Down which is described as a creamy brown beige and the description is 100% correct. It will look odd on me but I did buy it for myself. This is for my freelance kit. I just wanted to show you in case you were curious how it looks on my skin tone. If you pair it with a deeper brown kind of a lip liner such as Chestnut, this can make for a really good nude lipstick. Next is Stone which is described as a muted grayish taupe brown. And on me personally, it looks like a light to medium gray. I definitely didn't buy this for myself. It's for my freelance work. And it looks lovely on lighter skin tones, especially to add definition for nude lipsticks. Next is the shade Sore, which is described as a mid-tone pinkish brown. And on my skin tone, it definitely pulls like a more cool toned pinky brown. Again, a classic and a favorite for various skin tones. Especially if you don't have as pigmented lips as mine, this will look absolutely fantastic. It's a great pinkish brown lip liner. Spice is described as a pink cinnamon stick and I completely agree with the description. It's definitely a pinky brown kind of a shade and very flattering on Indian skin tone. Spice is definitely one of my favorites. Next up is Hover which is described as a rich caramel brown. On me personally I find it quite a neutral brown. It's a great nude on my lip color. I would say the depth is very similar to Whirl, just that if you remove the pink plum from it and just keep the brown, that is what Hover is. So it's absolutely beautiful and definitely one of my favorites and go-tos throughout the year. Whirl is described as a dirty rose and I would say it's more like a pinky mauve kind of a shade. Again, very flattering for Asian or Indian skin tones. It's definitely one of my favorites. Next is Half Red, which is described as a soft burgundy. On my skin tone, it looks more like a desaturated, plummy purple shade. It's almost like a deeper and a more plummy shade of Whirl, if that makes sense. Again, a beautiful shade and I would highly recommend this for Indian skin tones. Next up is Plum, which is described as a potent reddened plum, which I think is quite true for the shade. It is like a plummy brown, but that's really desaturated. And by that, I mean that it's not very intense. It's like a gray has been mixed in with a red brown. That's the shade. It's absolutely beautiful. And it looks lovely on tan to deeper skin tones. Next is cork, which is described as a muted golden brown. I personally think this is quite a nice yellow brown shade. And it is quite deep. I wouldn't call it muted at all. It's definitely on the medium to deeper brown in terms of intensity. Next is Auburn, which is described as an intense orange reddish brown. And I definitely agree. I definitely see more of a deep orange brown. It's kind of a rusty orange kind of a shade with this one. Great for fall season. Next is a shade which is a cult favorite of deeper skin tone which is called Chestnut and it's described as an intense brown shade and that's 100% true. It is a very deep and rich kind of a brown shade that looks absolutely amazing on deep skin tones. Next up is Cherry which is described as a vivid bright bluish red. 
I don't see the blue tones in this particular lip liner. I feel it's a true red and it's quite vivid and quite bright. So this is stunning with a classic red lip and it's definitely one of my favorite MAC lip liners. Next is a shade Brick, which is described on their website as an intense golden red. I don't find this to be a golden red at all. I find it to be quite a reddish brown kind of a shade. So it's a red that has been desaturated. So imagine red mixed with gray. That's exactly what this shade is. And this is great for defining a bright red lipstick because this will kind of ground the lipstick. So anytime you feel like a lipstick is too bright for you in terms of red, this can be a good one to pair it with. Again, a classic and a favorite of mine. Next up is Beat, and it's described as a vivid reddish pink. And on me personally, it's a beautiful magenta reddish violet color, which is some of my favorites to wear. So this shade is definitely one of my favorites from MAC, and it looks absolutely stunning on Indian skin tones. Next is Nightingale, which is described as a mid-tonal cream plum. I think it's more of a classic purple lip liner, at least on my skin tone. So again, if you're looking for a purple lip liner, I would highly recommend this one. And that's it for today's video. If you found this video helpful, definitely give it a thumbs up and also consider subscribing for more videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.